Greetings penguins and welcome to this video. I am Wylan. Today we're doing another drawing in my sketchbook video. This one's a little extra special because I have one of these like fold out three page spreads. So I thought why not do like each one with like a different character in a different color of the rainbow. And not just any rainbow, a fluorescent rainbow. <laughs> And this is just a cheap sketchbook I got from Five Below. The paper's okay, but the binding's terrible, but we don't really have to worry about that with this fold out. <laughs> First character I am drawing today is my character, Reyna. She is a cheerful, sweet person, and she loves to draw and watch magical girl shows. <laughs> and she wants to make a manga with her friend, Odwin. She also has a big secret that she is an actual magical girl, tasked with not only protecting the Earth, but the whole universe. Though for this page I just drew her in her usual school uniform. On to the orange page, I am drawing my character Abby, the magical alien cat girl, who has made multiple appearances on my channel. I just love to draw her. And then I am drawing Odwin, who I've mentioned earlier, is friends with Reyna. He is also an artist that watches magical girl shows. He is also the person who created Abby. What? What? <laughs> Abby was a childhood character of his. And one day, when he decided to draw her again for old time's sake, he got a paper cut, getting a bit of blood on the drawing, causing it to burst into life. Thus, Abby became a reality. On another note, Abby looks so weird without like the pink half of her. <laughs> Next page, my favorite color, the yellow page. For this page, I am drawing my character Ozel, who is an angel taking on the form of a cute anime girl. A very tall, cute anime girl. <laughs> they are an Othaman specifically, which is the angel that's an eyeball surrounded by rings of eyeballs. <laughs> Though they were designed to be a wheel and carry out judgment, they have trouble staying in and fitting in with their job and so they keep passing on from deity to deity because nobody really knows what to do with them currently they are serving the goddess of light and have been tasked with awakening her night starting into the cool tones it's the green page for the green page i am drawing my character lulu the alien now you're like, alien? They're just like, looks like a cluster of crystals. Well, originally I did want to make them humanoid, but it was just not working out. But then I got inspired. I had the Lemon Demon song, Soft Fuzzy Man, stuck in my head, which reminded me of the Star Trek episode Metamorphosis, which was about a sentient electromagnetic field known as the Companion. And it got me thinking, like, why not make her like a cloud alien? So she's a cloud of like ever shaping and morphing crystals. Lulu is also a massive sweetheart and she just wants to help wherever she can. Now for page three, I'm drawing Peony and her demon shadow cat companion. I haven't straight up mentioned it until now, but all the characters I am drawing today are part of the same story. And I have been recently debating whether or not to keep Peony in the story because um, I have no clear idea what to do with her. I think she's cool and I'd love to keep her around, but I just, I have no idea what to do with her. <laughs> and there's already just so much going on, like magical girls, aliens, eldritch gods, angels, and demons, like, I don't know. Maybe I will eventually get like a sudden burst of inspiration and find a place for her in the plot, but for now, she's kind of just up in the air. <laughs> Final page, the purple page. Last but not least, I am drawing Lila. I actually previously talked about her in my how much can I draw in three hours video, but I'll repeat her story here since not a lot of people watch that video. So, basically, her sister was kidnapped by demons and dragged into hell. So, 
she must acquire the pieces of holy armor and awaken as a knight of the goddess of light in order to safely traverse into hell to rescue her sister. I drew her quite big on this page, which didn't leave me much, much room to do another just kind of like regular version of her, so I just had to fill the space with a bunch of like chibis. I would like to eventually share this story with all of y'all in the form of a webcomic, but it takes me forever to actually get stuff put together and written down. <laughs> but hopefully I can, I can force myself to like actually do that. <laughs> My working title for the series is Four Panel Inferno because it was inspired by a manga I read in a dream which started off as a four panel slice of life comedy but then devolved into a surreal battle series. Well here are all the completed pages of the rainbow. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning about some of my characters today. I'm also very interested to know which one was your favorite. And since it is also the end of the video, it's time for me to do the YouTuber thing and ask you if you enjoy this video to leave a like. If you have thoughts or suggestions for future videos, leave them in a comment down below. And if you'd like to see more from me and join the colony of penguins, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.